I'm a high schooler, so stress is pretty much a given in my life. <laughs> when it, com it comes from schoolwork, extracurriculars, finals, friendships, and even the future. On top of that, I overthink a lot, especially in regards to the people I call friends. Say one day I go up and we talk, we have a grand old time. It's great. The next day I show up and things are different. They aren't looking my way as much, they're not speaking to me as much. Automatically I become insecure. I, I feel as if I've done something wrong and I get stressed as I go over all the things I could have done to offend them, whether I annoyed them, interrupted them, ignored them, shamed them, disgraced them, humiliated them, swindled them. <laughs> For me, music is a way out. When words cannot define exactly how I'm feeling, I let it out through music. Music takes me out of a darker, complicated place and allows me to express exactly how I want to express myself without hiding anything. Of course, with music, specific dialogue cannot be transmitted, but the raw feeling I have can be, whether it's sadness, frustration, indecisiveness, or just other feelings that may try to hide away when just merely speaking. Perhaps the words I choose in everyday conversation don't convey what I'm trying to express, and I don't want to tell people something untruthful. I don't want the people I'm talking to to feel as if I'm suppressing my feelings over something, and I don't want to think the same of them. And when it comes to that, music helps. Those feelings are sometimes just hard to put into words, and I let it out through music. Imagine a world where everyone spoke and expressed exactly how they felt without any sort of suppression. Everyone will be more open and honest about how they truly felt. With this instrument in my hands, I can communicate just that. Earlier this year, the marching band here had been invited to play at Disneyland. That's the place I love going to more than anywhere else. <laughs> so the band's trip to Disneyland was really the perfect trip because one, it's Disneyland. Two, I'm playing music. And three, nearly all my friends were there. So at Disneyland, I'm playing music with my friends. I'm doing what I love at the place I love with the people I love. I love being in a place where I can just be a kid and be myself. I, I cannot express how much joy I felt that day when we walked into the park. How do you do that justice with words? Like somewhere between feeling so much joy and excitement inside that you're on the brink of tears, and knowing that you're going to have the best, best day in a long time. And I was only just inside the park in Main Street. I can't explain that feeling with just words, but I can with music. This is how I felt. <laughs> I had always known my grandfather as a great wise man, as anyone would think of their grandparent. Sadly, he passed away about six years ago, and I went through the feelings of sadness, loss, and grief. But it wasn't until recently when I discovered a new feeling about my grandfather's death. Recently, my grandmother came over to visit, and learning how into jazz I was, she shared with me how my grandfather also loved jazz very deeply, and even played bass in a little group of his. Knowing that I had this connection with him just surprised me, but it made me feel special, too. But I was just bummed out that I, he wasn't around to talk about this. And just the fact that I missed an opportunity to play a few tunes with him, just, just to think a few years back, I could have done just that. You know, him on bass and I on drums or some other instrument. There were a lot of different conflicting feelings inside of me. 
This is how it sounds. As I go through high school, I'm constantly thinking about the future. I plan to go to college, but what will I become? Will I achieve my dream goal as a filmmaker, or a musician, or you know, accountant? Um, <laughs> are the things I'm doing now going to prepare me for my future? I want to enjoy life today and find a future that makes me happy. But getting ready for that future, extracurriculars, schoolwork, homework, finals, is stressful. I think I'm taking the right steps to come closer to that goal, but without any sort of confirmation along the way, I feel I'll never truly know until I get there. Once again, it's a weird mix of feelings that I'd rather listen to than speak about. Being on stage is always quite an experience for me, as it's my primary medium for communicating how I feel. And just being on any stage gives me this wistful energy to just shout out and tell you all exactly how I feel. But as I've said before, simply talking to you cannot completely cover everything going on in my head right now. I feel much more comfortable giving a musical performance because I often struggle to find the right words. With this clarinet in my hands, I can communicate just a little better so you all may get a closer view of what's going on in my head right now. Perhaps for another performance, a drum kit may be necessary, or a saxophone, or a guitar, or whatever I feel is necessary to convey a feeling to the audience, just like this. Thank you.